My name is Mark Dupuy. I'm an assistant professor here at UW Bothell, and my focus is on cybersecurity. So one of the things that I think is interesting, one of the big challenges for cybersecurity and privacy is this balancing act that we do between um, security and the usability of the system or how convenient it is to use. Um, and we generally think of, you know, we can make a system very, very secure. For example, I, I often tell people that a secure system is one that is not plugged in and does not have any kind of connectivity to the internet. Um, good luck using that system, though. And so that's one of the big challenges is how do we kind of find a middle ground that works as far, insofar as having a system that's relatively secure, but also hopefully relatively usable at the same time. For my students, I try and do things a little bit more holistically. I try and look at how are, not only what systems are we gonna develop, but how are people gonna use these systems? How can we take into account different people using the systems to try and optimize not only the development side of it, but also the um, user interface side of it as well in, in how people are gonna see the system and so they can hopefully interact with it in a in really a way that is more fun and effective and efficient for them. I think one of the big challenges with cybersecurity and privacy is trying to understand why people don't do the things that they should do. And really what a lot of it comes down to is that security is generally almost always a secondary task. So someone doesn't come to a computer thinking, wow, I'm going to go do security now, right? They want to check their email. They want to look at Facebook or Twitter um, or check the news. And so usually security mechanisms, uh, pop-up windows and stuff giving you security alerts, are getting in the way of that. One of the things that I uh, look at is personality and trying to understand how um, different personality types, such as people that are maybe more neurotic, maybe more extroverted, maybe more conscientious, uh, how that might play into their behavior. And their behavior maybe with backing up data or what the types of stuff they will post and or like on social networking sites such as Facebook and Twitter. One of the projects that I'm currently developing, it's a long-term research project, and it really looks at different uh, groups of people based on their age, so age cohorts, um, but it also looks at them over time. And so it's a longitudinal multi-cohort study that will really follow people and to try and identify how are people's behaviors different based on age, but also how does that change over time because new technologies emerge all the time. If we were asked to, to ask people about social networking 15 years ago, it would be very different than asking them about it today. And so my hope is that by doing that, we can really see some very interesting and unique differences based on age, based on other demographic variables, um, but also how that evolves over time and how those comparisons between age groups change over time as well. From a research standpoint, uh, cybersecurity, privacy, the study of it is very multidisciplinary. And uh, that actually feeds into the type of people we put out in the workforce. Because we can't just put out computer scientists to solve our, our cybersecurity problems. We have to put out people with um, expertise in the humanities and philosophy to try and understand the implications from a privacy standpoint or a social standpoint. We have to put out people there with expertise in design, so people that have some background in designing systems and really taking the person into account. Um, and we have to put business people out there because business people also get trained to understand, well, what are the business implications of uh, going through this extensive training program to hopefully improve cybersecurity within the organization? And what are the business implications of not doing this? And so we really have to tap into a lot of uh, different areas of expertise and skills in order to really have an effective cybersecurity and privacy posture.